and go Hey guys, it's me Zyro back again with another video and this is the second part of ransomware development series. So if you guys watched the first part, you might have got the understanding of how we can encrypt or decrypt a particular target file. And in case you guys don't know about that, I request you to watch the part first primarily and then continue with the part 2. And if you guys already did watch the part 1 and know how the encryption and decryption stuff works, we are then good to move forward. So in the part 2nd, we will be taking a look on how to recursively list all the files with any extension and subfolders in a particular folder and then encrypting the contents of it. Also later on, we will be taking a look on how to decrypt the same. So yeah, before starting as usual, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the like button and uh, comment your feedbacks. Also join my discord server, link is mentioned in the description. So without any further delay, let's dive into the video. So firstly, I will like to list some of the modules which will be added in this series and will be used in this part as well as the upcoming parts. The first one is OS module. Now most of you guys might know about this module. Uh, pretty basic operating system based operations are done using this module like getting OS name and its version and environment variables etc. Moving to the next module which is glob, this module is used to list the files and folders and files in the subfolders as well with any extension. It follows the pattern of file card. Uh, for example, if we give some arguments of the path, that is, uh, you can see it on your screen, it will list out all the files and folders and subfolders coming in the given path and will be stored in a list so that we can perform the encryption on every file in the list using for loops. Now let's get to the practical part. I'll show you how you can recursively list all the files and folders in a given path using glob module. So firstly, let's import OS and glob modules. As I will be demonstrating in the current user's home directory, I will type os.path.expandUser. This statement is used to get the home directory path of the current user. Now let's print the home underscore dir variable and see if we got our home path. As you can see, c user del is my home directory path. Now we will write the statement to list all the files and subfolder files using the globe.globe and in parenthesis we have to mention the path from which we have to list all the files uh, giving recursive equal true. For this video sake I have already created a demo folder named grades in my home directory. It has some text files and images and again some text files in the subfolder. Using for loop I will print every path which is stored in the files variable. As you can see all the files and folders are listed down. Now let's implement the same in our encryptor file. First of all let me show you the content of each file in the target folder. Let's move ahead and edit the previously written encryptor code. creating the home underscore dir variable which holds the home directory path of the current user. The code then opens up all the files in the user's home directory that end with any type of extension and stores them in a list called files. Finally writing for loop to perform encryption on each file in the files list. Lastly replace the previous file name with the variable file or any other that you might have used instead of file. Now let's run the final code. As you can see, the code is ran, the key is created and there you go. This is encrypted, let's check the previous documents. This is encrypted too and those two images encrypted as well. Now if you want, you can also do this with any folder like uh, if I just 
left the home directory and haven't added the create demo folder all the files and folders coming under my home directory might have got encrypted and that includes app data local roaming etc which usually saves the software data which is installed on your system so you see it would have been a huge loss if you want you can directly do it with the main c disk which in most case people keep their os drive uh, with c letter so you can create a huge chaos by doing that now let's take a look at the decryptor file uh, mostly the same steps will be followed firstly we'll import the modules the code then opens up all the files in the user's home directory that end with any type of extension and stores them in a list called files at last add the for loop as we did in the encryptor and then replace the access code.csv with file or any other variable that you have named now here i will add trials and exceptions as if the file is not encrypted or uh, is encrypted with any other key so it should not throw an error instead it should just continue with the other files And for the testing purposes, I will actually add the print statement, uh, which will show what the error is, so that later we can debug it. Now everything is ready, let's run the program and see if all the files are decrypted. And as you can see all the files were decrypted successfully. So this is how you can encrypt or decrypt the files recursively. With that being said, I would like to wind the video here. In the next part, we are going to see that how we can send the encryption key which is generated to the attacker without saving it locally. At this point, I will be ending the video here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment your feedbacks. Also, the link to my Discord server is mentioned in the description. Make sure you join that too. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.